Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby with another powerful point to ponder. By the way, happy Memorial Day. I want to talk to you for a moment about friendships. Friendships are very important. Fellowship, friendship, someone defined fellowship as two fellas in the same ship. And regardless of what ship you're in, uh, you need somebody in that ship with you. You need to write somebody in the ship with you. All of us need friends. God has wired us all up to have this longing for belonging. Think about it. When they want to punish someone who is in prison, what do they do? They put them in isolation because to be isolated from people is cruelty. We need friendships. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs, chapter 17 and verse 17, the following, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for the time of adversity. So basically, it's saying the same thing twice. A friend loves at all times. A brother, same thing, is born for a time of adversity. All of us need friends, somebody to do life with. A girl one day, about 11 years old, was, was late from, from coming home from a, an assignment her mother sent her on. And when she got home, her mother said, well, where were you? And she said, uh, he said, my friend uh, fell down off her bike and she broke her bike and skinned her knee and I had to stop and help her. And she said, well, what could you do? You can't fix a bike. You're only 11 years old. She said, I know it. All I did was just sit there and cry with her. And that's what a friend is. Somebody when life gets broken, who will sit down and cry with you. We use the word friend too, too flippantly, I think. Yeah, we like to, to call, oh, that's my friend. <clears throat> but there are various levels of friendship. For example, some people are just colleagues, people that you work with. Well, you have a relationship with them, but that's the lowest level. That's just a colleague. Then you can go to another level, and that's casual friendships, and that's <clears throat> where you have interest uh, that in which you talk about those common interests. It could be a sports interest, it could be a political interest. So it's not a colleague, it's a casual relationship. But then there is a close relationship, and a close relationship is when you have common goals, you work together with each other to reach those common goals. Those are close relationships. But when the writer says in Proverbs, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time, for times of adversity, he's not talking about a colleague or something casual or something close. Three C words, colleague, casual, close. He's talking about the highest level of friendship and that is committed, committed relationships. And that's why uh, Jesus is our friend. Jesus is our friend because Jesus is always committed to us. Now, what should relationships or friendships look like? How do you keep them real? R-E-A-L. Well, let's break that word down real acrostically because I think this is the true measurement of a friendship. Real. R. Let's look at that word R. Reciprocity. <clears throat> if you're in a relationship in which you are the person always giving and never receiving, if it's not a relationship of reciprocity, then you're not in a friendship, you're just in a situation because friendships are always mutual reciprocity where you're not always the person who giving, you get something in return. Secondly, friendships are something that you enjoy. You know, it, it, you know it's, it's, it's a time of emotional release. Your mind can take a vacation when you're around these people. You enjoy them. Now, anybody who you call a friend and you do, can't enjoy them and you have to endure them, then don't call that a friendship because friendships are always reciprocal, R, E, enjoyable, A, this is very important, advancement. <clears throat> If you have a friendship that keeps you stuck, you're not moving forward, does not advance you, or a friendship whenever you're around this particular person, old habits come back. For example, if you find yourself around people and you, you gossip more because you're around that person, or you start drinking more, or you start cursing more, 
that's not a healthy friendship. Friendships are those friendships that advance you in which you are aspiring to be the best version of yourself. And people who are in your life, who are helping you arrive to that level, well, that's real friendship. R, reciprocity. E, enjoyment. A, advancement. L, you know what L is, loyalty. When other people walk out on you, the friends walk in. They are loyal. What does it say? A friend loves when? Sometime, at all time, a brother is born for a time of adversity. They are loyal to you. Well, you know what friendship is? It's real, it's enjoyable, it's, it's advancing, and it's loyal. Let me leave you by sharing some, some rules about friendship. Rule number one. <clears throat> Don't try to force yourself on anyone. Don't force anyone to be your friend. Just like you shouldn't, even if the shoe looks good, if it doesn't fit your feet, don't try to force your foot into a shoe that doesn't fit you. Don't try to fit yourself in a relationship that doesn't fit you. Let me tell you why. Because even though the shoe, you want it bad, I want this shoe bad, it, but it doesn't fit me. Let me give you some good news. There's some other shoes. There are other shoes. So don't get so fixated on this one shoe. Just, just uh, Google shoes, your shoe size, your style, and I promise you there's some other shoes. And so why suffer fix putting your foot in a shoe that doesn't fit you? Why suffer being in a relationship that does not fit you, that's toxic? Rule number two. When you're in a relationship or a friendship, be careful that you don't allow someone in the relationship to dominate you and to make you into somebody who you are not. Be careful when you've got control freaks who want to shape you and carve you and mold you and you feel uncomfortable because it's not who you are. Your real friends are the people who accept you just the way you are. Rule number three, and that is, don't forget this, be friendly to everybody, but don't have everybody as a friend. The Bible says, if you will have a friend, you must first be friendly. I heard about a fella who was driving a new car and his, his, his people started asking, my God, where did you get that car? Oh, it's nice. And he said, my best friend brought it for me. And, they, and, and some people, one man said, oh my God, I wish, and the guy said, oh, I know what you're gonna say. I wish I had a friend like that. And he said, no, that's not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say, I wish I could be a friend like that. And guess what? Sometimes it's more important that you be a friend than looking to everyone else to be your friend. Don't forget, Jesus is your friend. He's not a colleague. He's not casual. He's not simply close. close. Jesus is committed to you. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, all of us have a longing to belong. We need relationships, we need friendships. So give us wisdom in the selection of our friendships. Help us to learn the points that we have learned today. And somebody here maybe needs on this Memorial Day to memorialize the end of a friendship and the beginning of new friendships. Thank you, Lord, for your word, for the wisdom that comes from your word. Be with your people today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope you're enjoying Memorial Day. And if, it's, if you're going on a picnic, please don't forget to practice social distancing. Wash your hands for about 20 seconds. Lift, amen. Let the, the water hit the, 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 the soap on your hands and drench it, run it down the sink. And so wash your hands, practice social distancing, uh, and don't forget uh, that every day for the rest of your life, you're going to pray, have some powerful points to ponder, 
as we have meaningful moments with the master. And don't forget, like I tell you always, stay safe, stay sane, and if you can, stay home. God bless you.